Alright, and we're back. Let me load up our rescue craft that we're going to rescue Jeb with. Um, I've kind of decided that uh, that's a little bit risky. I know that this one will work. The other one, I'm not sure if it really will slow us down fast enough. Um, so, yeah, I'm still bringing along a little science just in case, but not we're not bringing along the materials bay. And we can actually take uh, one of these, or two of these. And some batteries might be helpful. Alright, sweet. Okay, so let's make sure there's no crew in there. And yeah, I think I think we're good. All right, let's go. Try to get Jeb back. Seems pretty stable, and we, we uh, have some fuel lines now, so that will make things a lot more efficient. Hopefully I'll have enough parachutes with all this extra weight on top, it won't get ripped off. Strutted it up pretty good there. Can't really see though, but there are quite a few struts holding that on. So we should be okay. Okay, and... And so because I have fuel lines going from the exterior to the interior, once these are empty, I can get rid of them, and all these tanks on the inside will still be full. Um, it's a much more efficient way of doing things. It works a lot better. Stop. They're kind of wobbling a little bit, a little top heavy, maybe, which makes sense. But I think we'll be okay. Let's look at how we're doing here, about a third of the way there. Good progress. It's almost ready to drop these guys. <coughs> Excuse me. And drop. Awesome. Now we should be have tons of fuel. Get where we need to go. That is fantastic. I'm very happy with that launch. Let's uh, just go out to... I don't know. We have enough fuel, we might as well go out to 100. Yeah, why not? Okay. Now we're going to try to see if we can get a good moon intercept here fairly easily. We need to turn right about there. Well, we can't really do that quite yet, but <laughs> we'll uh, um, burn for orbit first. I guess we don't have a choice. We didn't launch with the moon in the right position. Okay, um, when 
am I going to hit my apo? Let's speed ahead till we get about there. And burn for orbit. As usual. Let's turn on we our newly acquired light system, which is very nice. Not perfect, but fine. <laughs> yeah, not perfect at all, but it will be fine. Oops. Set that as our target. Let's line it up like this, maybe. Here we go. Let's just tweak that a little bit. Yep. All right, yeah, that's awesome. That should be plenty good. And we're going to do that burn in 13 minutes so we can time accelerate there. Uh, it's nice to no longer have to worry about running out of power. It's much, much less possible now. A little, not very maneuverable though. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Let's turn off the lights. I'm going to be burning for only 30 seconds. That's great. God, I love fuel lines. They make everything so much easier. And let's go. I think we're looking pretty good. I think Jeb has a chance at survival. A very slim chance, but a chance nonetheless. Okay, so where do we end up? Collision course, which is fine. That's what we did last time. Um, let's take this opportunity to just do a little minor little adjustment here that I know I'm going to make later. Okay. Woo! Okay, good. Alright, I think we're ready to time accelerate, time warp ahead until we are close to the moon here. So where do we have to go? Well, first we have to go east a little bit. There we go. Okay. We need to... get this aligned with uh, our potential landing spot. Well, uh, except it's going to rotate by the time we get there, so we might as well uh, 
Hmm. Well, but that'll at least get us in the right plane, so. Okay, keep going up. Up, 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 up. That looks pretty good. Let's time warp ahead. And slow down. Trying to get to the right point. Hey, now go. Hmm. Now we just have to. It's the wrong way. We need to go just a little bit more this way. Yeah, that's it. Make sure we're right over that. Okay, now let's slow down a little bit more. This is very, very difficult. I don't know how people do this so easily. kind of a little bit of back and forth uh, action to make this work. I think we'll wait till we're overhead, so like there. Okay, we'll do that two second burn in <laughs> and uh, 11 minutes. Let's find our target. And we do need to get rid of this stuff at some point. We don't really need it anymore. 
but yeah, we can use this while we still can. Okay. Stop. Okay, now what? Let's, let's put our gear out. Can we observe the goo? Alright. As long as we land pretty close. I'm like shaking here because this is really uh, nerve-wracking to do this. I've never tried to do something like this before actually. Do a crew report. 15. Could EV- oh no we can't EVA because we don't have a guy. Wait till we're pretty close. Oh man. This is so nerve wracking. Am I down in there? How close am I? Oh, okay. I don't know, I don't know what we're doing, we should probably quick save, quick save, we should have done that before we started all this, uh, let's just start slowing down, keep going, gosh. <laughs> this is tense. Oh, God. <sighs> Alright. Lateral velocity is almost killed. Almost there. Okay. Okay. Two kilometers is reasonable, I think. We could try to push ourselves closer a little bit. on, even though we don't need them, just to make it look cool. Sorry, I'm not talking. This obviously requires quite a bit of concentration. Like, all of it. Can I see my shadow yet? 
Stopped myself. <laughs> okay, shadows there. Just keep going. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, I need a break. <sighs> okay, alright. Uh, I'm cutting here, uh, taking a second to calm myself, and then we'll keep going. Okay, wow. I'm uh, ridiculously proud of myself there. I've never attempted to do, like, a landing on a target like that. Um, so to do that the first time... Awesome. Yes. Okay, we'll do a materials thing. We will do another crew report. Yeah, let's overwrite the ex Oh. Shoot. Okay, well, we'll take another one when we get out of there. Let's switch over to our other guy here. Oh, well, I'm currently throttled up. Okay, that's an easy fix. Oh, my. Let's EVA. Let's let go. Here we have. Mm. Let's uh, actually. Can we take all the data that's left? What we? Uh, I know if there's. I don't know if there's any data left in here to take. Let's see. Just get close enough. Okay. Nope. Well, yeah, that's probably good. So let's. And what was that last one? Was it the surface sample? Okay. Highlands. See if we can get another sample. Uh, okay, just gotta boost ourselves over. That's pretty darn close. doing on monoprop here. Pretty good. Shouldn't be a problem. Now the one thing to not do is to knock the spacecraft over with the Kerbal. <laughs> that would be kind of bad. And I do have to be kind of careful about that because I don't have a ladder. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Whoa, you're really flying, huh? Okay, you can really stop any time you want. Stop! Okay.
let's uh, go right here real quick. Nope, and get up. Um, plant a flag for fun. P power of science. Awesome. Okay, let's waddle our butts uh, over there. Okay. Now very, very carefully grab store experiments. Now let's... Can I do another one? Nope. Let's, uh... Hmm. Not all items could be stored. Let's actually jump off again. Let's do another, one more surface sample. save that one. Probably not. Oh shoot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back up a little bit. And... <sighs> Darn it. I'd be really sad if he was stranded here because he ran out of uh, <laughs> EVA propellant. I don't think that's going to happen though. We're not going to risk like uh, propelling straight at it though. I don't want to risk tipping it over. We're going to try to do this again. It worked the first time so it will work again. save again. Now I think it's time to go home. Um, so let's throttle up. Let's get rid of the gear. Ooh, let's turn on SAS. And let's make sure we're going in the right direction. Pretty low on fuel, it's making me a little nervous. Oh, that would suck if we're stuck again. Alright. What is it gonna take?
lot of time to figure this out. That's good. Do we have 42 seconds of burn time left? I doubt it. Ugh. Jesus. That sucks. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, crap. Well, there goes all the efficiency. <clears throat> I'm not liking this. I'm not liking our chances here. We're going the wrong direction. No. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, so close. Are close enough? Yes! Oh, yes! Just barely had enough. We should be able to Yeah, that should be that should be landable. Alright. Wow. Well, uh, I think we, um, uh, can get rid of this. We'll wait till we're closer, just in case. Turn off that. We don't need that anymore. Oh, we can probably do some more science, though. Let's do EVA. Nope. Still not over a different biome, huh? Oh shoot, we are not good. What the heck happened? We're gonna crash again. Damn it! Ugh, it looked good. Oh no! Alright, we gotta go back to our quick save. I think we can do this, actually. Um, I think I lost quite a bit um, starting in the wrong direction there. So let's just immediately, more or less immediately, go like this. And get up and out. That's more like what we wanted to do before. Sweet. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so let's... We were so close, so I know that we can make it. We just needed to be a little bit quicker on our uh, takeoff there. Okay. Yeah. 
and stop right there. Oh, I hope we have enough. Really hope we have enough. bouncing around so much. Alright, yeah. That looks good. <sighs> okay, let's see if there's any more signs to be had. 30 there. We already know that that didn't work, so let's do that. <sighs> okay, let's get the lights off. We can just ditch this fuel, I think, at this point. Hmm, we only get 2% if we keep that. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay, so... Let's get ready. All right. Stop. Okay, good. Oh no, we ran out of power. Can we still deploy the chutes? Yes, we can. So we'll be okay. Maybe. Shoots are deployed. Can't do anything about anything now. I don't know where we're going to come down. Maybe we can get a service sample of wherever we go, but that would be good. <sighs> oh boy. We're coming in at quite an alarming rate. Making me a little nervous. Okay, parachutes are still on. We're losing speed like we should be. Light. <laughs> we don't have lights anymore. <sighs> the only problem with this design is that. Well, no. Actually, once this big parachute deploys, we should land upright. Hopefully. Because I don't want to risk breaking one of these uh, goo things. Let's uh, admire the view a little bit here. The really dark and hard to see my ship view. Uh, but that was a pretty successful mission, I would say. Um, even if something happens here. We got Jebediah back home in one piece. Uh, we landed on the first try. We made it home on the second try. Which is pretty respectable, I think. Okay, parachutes are deployed. And we're coming down at quite a comfortable rate, so... Hmm. Yeah, I think 6 meters per second is pretty manageable. Jebediah looks calm, as he usually does. So ready for anything. Okay, so we didn't quite make it upright. That big parachute doesn't have enough force to counteract the small two smaller ones, so that's good. Good to know. So 
where are we at exactly in relation to... Wow, it's definitely a part of the planet I've never been to before. I'm very far away from the uh, Space Center, which is over here. Yeah, and we're very far south too, which is interesting. Okay, we made it. Did anything get damaged? Nope. So, we could do another Kree report. Well, no, we can't. <laughs> we can do a... Hatch is obstructed. Okay, we can fix that. Maybe? No, we can't. We're stuck like that. Because we have no power, so we have no anything. Alright, well, that's fine. How much science did we get out of that whole deal? 221. Not bad. Moon's Highlands, observation space near the moon. Another surface sample. Alright. Okay, well, we got Jebediah back safely, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.